What is up, people? This is John Loves Enemy here, and welcome back to a brand new video. As I talk to you guys about Strecken. So, this game I played a long time ago on my old channel, which it was on its alpha state. And how I found it? I found it on a forum on Facebook telling me that this game has never been touched and played, looks interesting, and all that kind of stuff. And I went into the website of RPGMaker.net. Um, it had like very like it didn't have like zero like little to none downloads So I downloaded the game myself and I played made a video about it And then I was contacted by the game's developer name of Anorak Contacted me for me to play this game as a game tester so um, I have received the latest version of the game and as you can see, um, I'm a little sick. As you can see, why I'm wearing a scarf, a shirt, and so forth, and all this crazy stuff. So, um, without further ado, um, let's get into this game and let's see how it is. Let's do this, people. So, use the arrow keys, enter, and escape for the end game menu, like any RPG horror game would be like. You groan as you awaken, confused as your eyes dart into unfamiliar surroundings. Okay, and that's little me. You can see. So, let's look around real quick. Search the cupboards. Okay. There's nothing of importance here. Oh, wow. And as I play this game, I really liked um, this style of the RPG look. I mean, it looks very fantastic. Um, and I think it's made, and it's made by a little team, a very small team, and it's made by the person who created it, his name of Anorak, um, which has a channel, which really means a lot to me. If you check out the channel itself, it really means a lot if you uh, give him some love. So, the door seems to be locked. I have to go in here. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, good. Because uh, who would want to go in a room full of blood? Not me. <laughs> um, let's see. Over here. Ah, it's locked. All right, get away. What is this? It's a page filled with dates and important events. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I'm in a room. What is this? Uh, <clears throat> the handwritten, the handwriting is squalled. You can't decipher it. Um, I think that means sloppy. The cupboard doors won't budge. Okay, let's go out of here. There we go here. Okay. Oh, lovely. Uh, I'm standing on a pool of blood. It's not really good. Let's see. Uh, one of the pages is written in bright red. I think that's blood, my friend. Read. Five beds, five patients, three doctors, one sane. Um, let me, let me, let me take it. So five doctors, five patients. No, no, no. I think it's five something. Five patients. Three, no, no, five doctors, five something, three patients, one sane. So it has to be some kind of a puzzle, um, a riddle of some sort. Um, it kind of intrigues me, honestly. Okay, so. Maintenance. Uh, the door needs to be opened using a four-digit security code. What's this? Uh, t -t -t -t. Let me see. Five. Let's, let's put that. Five. Five. Three. One. Oh, it worked. Oh, so it is like a combination mark. I thought it was some kind of riddle. Oh. Oh, that's just a machine. I was gonna say, like, oh, that is some machine power. This is. <clears throat> you 
Yet another patient had to be isolated and brought to the solitude cells on the lower floors. Apparently he was threatening to murder everyone here, even the patients. I wasn't there, but just hearing it freaks me out. Honestly, that's the feeling I have become used to. This hospital has had to lock up at least 80 patients in the solitude cells in the past year. Oh damn, 80. Uh, I wish my brother hadn't persuaded me into working here. He's down at the fourth floor doing his usual patient checkups. Making sure everyone's asleep. Funny, thi funny that I am here, unable to sleep, miles away from home. Maybe some coffee will help. So, apparently someone's on the fourth floor. Oh, I haven't searched room. Oh, yeah. Wait, let's check in here. Uh, elevator key card. Oh, coolio. So, I got a key card. Uh, as you leave, you feel an unnerving chill cold up your spine. Oh, good. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, ha, ha. That is not good. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, you can't force me to get in that room. Oh boy. Oh, love. Oh no. It's an elevator. Buy an elevator key. Okay. Going there. Save game? Well, absolutely. Yeah. Right. So, let's see. Activate. Strange. The elevator stopped. What is that? Third floor, I think? I'm not so sure. Oh, I see. Oh, I see you. Uh, I saw you. You didn't think I didn't see you. I saw you went up the stairs. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, goody. Um. Uh, please tell me that's some food. Don't please tell me it's not body. Uh, the body looks to have been brutally stabbed by a sharp tool. You're not sure of the gender, but you're certain that it's one of the nurses. Shit. That is some weapon that dispogulated this person. Oh, lovely, job, lovely, lovely. Let's see this stuff around. Oh, search the crevice. Okay. You thrust your hand into the crevice without caution. You immediately feel a cold metallic object and pull it out. East Winky. I heard something. I heard something when I pulled that key. Oh, uh, that's a very nice soundtrack, but okay. Um, please. You don't feel a need to enter the cubicle. This smells strange. This, this, the room smells strange, strongly of urine. You assume a great portion of that smell is coming from these. Oh, lovely. Get out from the bathroom. That must be. Ah. See, a contraption used for drying wet hands. Lovely. Oh god. Now I'm a little uh door seems to be locked. Okay. Okay. Why the music stopped? Oh, here's the East Wing. Hmm. 
in numerous newspapers and news letter articles are pinned here. Pall of rubbish. They found a small scratch disc located underneath the pile of torn paper. Disc retreat. <sighs> Hey, good, lovely. It's early in the morning, by the way, so that's why I'm like kind of yawning. <laughs> okay, I think it's this one. No. Oh, it shows outside. Oh, crap. Hey, there's a bear! Oh, no. The sight of the figure's head makes you feel weak. Distorted images of blood bursting through your head as the sounds of screams and moans take over. Unsure if the sounds are coming from nearby or, f or your mind, you began to back away from the computer, not bothering to eject the disc. Oh, crap. Then, and then, eruptively, the screaming ceases, only to be erupted by something far more sinister, far more familiar. <laughs> Get in, Klaus! You know me, don't kill me. Your body starts to shake with fear, and sweat begins to accumulate on your forehead. Oh, he's in here! He's in here! Please don't find me! Here's a cowboy. Ah! Oh! Oh! You hastily slam the cowboy door shut, your face instantly paled. All colors draining from your body. Tears begin to slowly form, your hands refusing to stop shaking as you press them hard against the side of the cupboard. You don't know who you are. You don't know even you know your name. Yet you still feel an unorthodox sense of belonging. You feel fear, doubt, and uncertainty, but you know there's another emotion tugging at you. The feeling of remembrance. As if you were here before. You stay in the cupboard for quite some time, stricken with fear. Oh, what's this? Oh my god, I'm bloodied. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm bloodied and everywhere. It seems that. Ah! No! Open! 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 Your eyes erupted,ly flash open to reveal your damp, dark surroundings. You must have been asleep as your body is awkwardly slumped along the cupboard floor. Inhale quietly, you open the cupboard doors and step out with caution. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Alright, so 
so that is it. Um, this is Strecken. Um, I think there's a little more to this updated version. But um, if you like this video, you like the game, it really means a lot to me. Give this video a like, favorite, share. Click down there to subscribe to my channel to be part of the awesome crew and to see some awesome videos. Also, it really means a lot to me if you go to the uh, the channel, um, Anorak, the game's developer, click in the link description below. Also, um, Strucken has a Twitter, the game itself, not the creator, but the creator is the one who made this Twitter page of the game itself. So it really means a lot to me if you go down in this description as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. As I always say, John Loves Anime, signing out. Remember people, stay awesome and I love you all. See you guys in the next video. Peace.